Hey, Doc, I'm here for Doc Sports, and I'm back with another free pick. And before I get started, so let everybody know, hey, Merry Christmas to you. Hope you have a fantastic weekend <clears throat> overall, whether you celebrate on the uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, whatever it happens to be. I hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy whatever you're going to do. Uh, speaking of enjoy, hey, I'm going to try and get you another free pick winner. Going to look at a game on Saturday in the NFL. And before I do that, I want to let you know you can sign up at Docs, Doc Sports. That's me, Doug Upstone from Doc Sports. And you can sign up there and get $60 worth of free plays. That's right. And these aren't just ordinary plays, these are premium plays, whether that I put out or any of the guys at Docs do. So check that out right today. Go there. You can go to my page, for example, sign up. There's a red box in the upper left hand corner. Fill that out, and you'll be done in no time at all. And you got $60 worth of free plays coming your way. All right, let's get to the, to the free play. The Buffalo Bills are a eight and a half point favorite as I do this video uh, and going against Chicago. But just one problem, at least one that I see, the Bills are two and six against the spread in their last eight outings. And during their five game winning streak, just two and three against the number. Part of that, uh, seemingly not a big issue here, but it's still something to consider. Buffalo is third in yards per play. At, at and they're averaging 6.3, yet they're ninth in points per yards gained. Okay, again, not terrible, but certainly off it, which means they're not particularly efficient right now. Now, Chicago, <clears throat> boy, oh boy, they've lost seven in a row and only covered the number twice. Still, this team continues to play hard if, with a limited roster. And they have been in some contests they could have won. There's three of them that I could think of specifically in that str in that stretch. Uh, so it's just a matter of just doing the right things in the fourth quarter when it matters and getting it done. And that's certainly what they have not done thus far. Over the over the time um, over this time with a bad ATS record, Buffalo. You know, they've looked disinterested, at least in my opinion, at times in in games. Just seems to lose some focus. And it's and going into this one, well, you know. It, at least that I have the sense of maybe and, and how they've played. It's kind of like, let's just get this over with. Okay. Let's get to the playoffs. Let's get to the good stuff. Okay. And that's just, I wonder about that. So if they're not focused in this one, and with the temperatures going to be really chilly and likely very windy, especially at Soldier Field, uh, they might, I don't know, there, there might be some things here that the Chicago can take advantage of specifically. Okay, Justin Fields. I mean, the guy is a fantastic runner. He can break almost out of any situation. And if they lose sight of him, referring to Buffalo, uh, you know, they, that could be a problem. And let's not lose also lose sight of the fact that Buffalo has a massive matchup next week, okay, against the Cincinnati Bengals. And that's going to be on January 2nd on a Monday night. That's going to be a big affair. So maybe Buffalo shows up. And, uh, and flexes their muscles and tries to put the Bears away early. But just keep in mind, the Bills are 6-34 and 34 against a spread off a home win over division rival. I'm going to say take Chicago plus the 8.5 over Buffalo Bills. So there's my free play for, two, uh, free play for this week. Hope you have, a, like I said, a fantastic Christmas. This is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next week, take care and Merry Christmas.